behind closed doors and out of sight. That's not my business. That Those sorts of things has really prevented domestic and sexual violence from being recognized widely. People don't want to talk about it until it affects them personally, until somebody they know, love, or care for is affected by it. And these crimes are on the rise, according to the Family Justice Center of Washington County, reporting a 20-year high in domestic violence locally. Not just an individual victim problem. This is a community-wide problem, and we have to strengthen the laws and the penalties, the laws that protect survivors and the penalties for those convicted of domestic and sexual violence. Over the past several years, the state has made progress. In 2019, strangulation became a felony charge in Oregon. Before then, it was considered a misdemeanor. If we know that someone has experienced near fatal strangulation, the next contact between that perpetrator and that victim is 650 percent more likely to be fatal. With the help of state Senator Janine Salmon, advocates hope to increase protections during Oregon's upcoming 2023 legislative session. I grew up in a home where domestic violence was present. Senator Salmon said they'll focus on a couple of issues. First, she hopes to make fixes to Senate Bill 48, a new law that deals with pre-trial release. It moved Oregon away from a bail-based system to instead consider a suspect's potential threat to the community. Domestic violence and strangulation was not something that was looked in a risk assessment. We see that and we know that something has to be changed. Senator Salman explains there's also a legislative concept relating to spousal support or alimony. It would allow a court to consider evidence of abuse when they determine the amount of spousal support that someone will get. Lastly, the Family Justice Center here requested lawmakers add strangulation exams to be covered by the state's Crime Victims Compensation Fund. Right now, survivors foot the bill for these exams. Advocates believe this work can help end the cycles of abuse. The landscape for survivors and their families needs to change in Oregon.